And so, um, Allison, you received uh, multiple awards at the WICT graduation, uh, one of which was for having the highest tasting score on your D3 exam, um, which is ridiculously amazing. <laughs> um, but what I want to ask about is that, like a lot of students, you are not located in a major city where you have a lot of, you know, tasting opportunities and fine wine shops and things like that. Um, I hear from people like that all the time, kind of wondering um, how they should work on their on their tasting and their blind tasting. So, could you tell us a little bit about your approach and how you were able to practice? Yeah, absolutely. Um, thinking about this question, I've kind of come up with kind of three categories of strategies. Um, so the first being tasting itself and how do you get access to that? How do you blind taste if you live alone? How do you manage the financial burden of blind tasting if you don't have a study group to rely on and share bottles? So one of the the silver linings of COVID was that there are so many more at home learners now that a lot of places pivoted in order to offer those kinds of tasting opportunities for people to utilize at home. So um, I was studying in 2020 for D3, so it was kind of prime time when all of that was happening. Uh, and so there's there's several different wine clubs or um, one off orders that you can do and get bottles sometimes mini bottles delivered uh, at home blind to practice. So I utilize that a lot. Usually those programs are put together by either a diploma graduate or a master SOM or somebody who can help make sure that there's classic examples going out to students. So that was really helpful. Uh, anytime I had a family member or a friend visit, I would send them into the local wine shop with a hundred bucks and tell them to come out with three wines and not tell me what they were, <laughs> um, just to try to get that blind tasting. Um, and then NVWA actually offered um, some supplemental uh, seminars around tasting um, that spring that really, it was, my exam was in May, the, the seminars were in uh, April. And I think that's really when things really clicked. They were with Peter Marks and just having that opportunity to uh, calibrate against other students and with somebody at that level was really helpful. And he gave such great insight into how to answer questions and what the WSET is looking for on the blind tasting exams, which is kind of my my point two is understand how to write the SAT the way they want you to, um, using the language that they want, using the phrasing that they want, uh, in order to maximize as many points as possible, um, understand how to make a good argument for ageability or for quality, because even if you didn't come up with the exact answer that they had determined, you can still pick up some really valuable points by just showing that you understand what goes into an ageable wine or a quality wine. Um, focusing on structure when tasting, which Stephen also alluded to, um, making sure that you can get the, the acid and the alcohol and things like that correctly. There's less wiggle room on those things. They, they are what they are and you should be able to assess them. Aromas and flavors. You can, you can get green apple and somebody else got green pear and still get to the right conclusion, but with structure, you need to be able to assess those correctly. Um, and then point three would be theory. Understanding your theory enough to apply it to tasting. We've all heard somebody tell us that that the tasting exam is just a practical theory exam. And it's 100% true. If you can get the structure correct and you have the theory to understand why it is what it is, you can make a pretty good assessment about a variety and origin, um, ageability, quality. And again, even if you're not 100% correct, you can gain a lot of points just by showing that you can logically assess those things and critically assess those things. So understanding the theory behind what makes a wine taste um, and behave the way it does in the glass is really key. Mm 